everybody, this is Robin Moses and I am going to do a series of nail art tutorials. I've been waiting a long time and finally got the camera working, got juicy on the camera. So anyways, um, the basic materials that you're going to use are just regular acrylic paints. You're going to need red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black and white, and silver and gold. That, those are the ones that I use mostly. Also, you're going to want like the top of a coffee lid and you can put all of the paints on the coffee lid and then blend them and then you can use water and it goes inside of the little uh, dip in the coffee lid and then we can like make the paint thinner and thicker because um, sometimes the paint gets too thin when you're doing really small things and so you really um, need thin paint and that this is a perfect thing and it's very cheap and you're going to need alcohol because alcohol takes off all your mistakes. So if you make a mistake, you wipe the, um, the, the area that you've made a mistake on and the part that you got right will still come out fine and you can work again as soon as the alcohol dries in the place that you had messed up. And then when you top coat, it'll take all of that um, fuzzy off. You're also going to need a series of different brushes. You're going to need um, a little tiny brush, a little uh, a medium they all have to be really tiny, but they're all different lengths. Like you're going to need a short tiny one, a, a medium, and then a longer one, and then you're going to need a striping one. The three medium ones, the ones, they, I will show you what you're going to need those for later on in what um, you're painting. Each painting does, uh, it, uh, takes a different kind of brush, and um, the striping brush is the only one you're really going to have to pay money for. These ones you can buy at any art uh, store and you can buy synthetic hair or natural hair. Natural hair lasts a little bit longer but I'll teach you how to keep your brushes going a little bit longer. And the striping brush has to be stable and it has to be uh, pliable and I will teach you how to use that brush as the time progresses and if you have any questions um, don't hesitate to ask me. You'll also need acetone. Acetone um, gets rid of all of your cuticle area and makes everything look really stunningly perfect. And um, I think that that's everything, everything that I wanted to cover for right now. And um, I want to make sure that you have just the basic material. Okay, so I basically just want to give you a general rundown of what you guys are going to need to do this at home. And I want to make sure that um, anybody can start this off. And we can add things as, as we progress with more and more videos. I want to teach you how to use um, MAC pigments in your um, nail art. I want to teach you how to use foils and charms and stones and everything. I can just everything. But for now, we're going to need paint and brushes and I am ready to start doing my first tutorial. <laughs> 